Hello, and welcome back to 13-2's Let's Play Fire Emblem 6, Chapter 6. This is Part 2. At the end of Part 1, um, the shit was completely hitting the fan as a band of unexpected reinforcements came and took Saul from behind. <clears throat> um, and also, the mages up top of the map started moving down to attack my units with no res, and so it was like, holy shit, what am I going to do now? So, here's the resuming of the chapter by me. I move Chad up, unlock the last room, which has the Native American stereotype in it, and recruit her with Roy. And she is totally freaking useless because she doesn't have a bow. And I would take one from Dorothy, but she only has one, so then I'd have a, another useless unit. So I figure that Sexy Boy is the only unit in my entire team who can like adequately handle those reinforcements and not die. Lot has already failed me once in this chapter, but I decided to put him down there with uh, Sexy Boy because they get an incredibly sexy support bonus. Um, Oscar and Rutger get to come over and finish off those mages. I was incredibly thankful that I had moved them up as far as they did. Yes, okay, I overdramatized the ending in the last episode. Sue me. I gotta pick up viewers somehow, right? You know, actually, I was on I was on YouTube the other day, and I was looking for some other Let's Play FE6s to see if I could take some cues. And you know what I found? I found some stuff that was like, I thought that was really lame. It, it's just, they accelerate the entire chapter, they don't even do commentary for it, they abuse save states. Save states are not cool. It, it takes all the fun out of the game, I think, when you, you abuse save states. And I know that a lot of you who get frequently screwed by the RNG will not be terribly happy with me for saying this, but I, I really do believe that in order to make this game um, really, really fun, you can't just cheat the permadeath option. It's, it's not Advance Wars for a reason, and that's why um, Fire Emblem 3 has introduced a new casual mode. I won't be playing in casual mode. I'm going to keep permadeath on, and that's my choice, and on a whole, I don't think I'll actually re be regretting it all that much, because I generally have pretty good luck with these games. No, I feel bad for people who have poor luck, though. So, anyways, Lou gets to move down and finish off that knight over there. Um, Lot gets some healing because I don't want him dying on me again. He, he is, he, I may have good luck with my level ups, like reasonably good luck, but I certainly do not have good luck with who gets hit and who misses. My characters seem to only get successful kills right when killing someone opens up another unit who can attack them and finish them off. It's, it, it pisses me off. That's what happened to Lot last time. Also, you, you see that thief down there? Yeah. Motherfuck. She just she just brought in four more reinforcements to come get me next turn. And now she's going to move in and start stealing my treasure. So I'm going to have to deal with her. Uh, Manhor gets a little bit of healing in on Sexy Boy. Lot and Sexy Boy get to move down. Um, whoa, random jump. And I'm going to try to stop uh, that random redhead thief from stealing all of my treasure. That would make me very angry. Um, I had actually a pretty hilarious idea of how I was going to stop her from doing it. You'll you'll see it later. Abel friggin' missed there, so I had to bring down Kane to get the kill because Roy didn't have enough power to poke the guy to death. And um, now that all that's really left up there is the two knights, I'm going to try to take uh, Lou and then Oscar and Kieran up and finish them off. And I'm moving Sexy Boy and Lot down to the bottom right corner to cover up for the reinforcements that Kath just let in and God, God damn it. So, um, Chad gets to move down in the hopes of stopping Kath from doing too much damage, um, even though only Roy is going to be able to talk to her, even though she's not a fucking recruitable unit. <sighs> um, those soldiers are Cavi bait, pretty easy. Now I'm doing a little bit of healing with Clarine there. And now I get to move Kent, or Sane, or whatever the fuck I'm calling him now, up to the middle again where I'm going to use him to javelin those knights into oblivion in uh, concurrence with Lou, who is getting kind of mag screwed. But it all works out for the best. Rucker moves down in an attempt to uh, stop uh, Kath from moving up just in case she gets past Chad. But it's not going to happen because, haha, steal your lockpick, can't do anything now. Mm, 
plus I get a free lockpick, which is which is cool. Um, and now now those reinforcements are gonna show up in the bottom right and piss me off. That javelin doesn't do much, um, so I, it looks like it's gonna take a while, so I have to move Lou up there. Um, Rutger obviously can't do anything because he doesn't have any strength. And once I end this turn, the reinforcements are gonna show up, and I'm a little bit worried. But lucky me, I get a miss, and uh, none of the rest of the units can attack anyone else down there. Um, the bitch is just gonna move up and try to get out of Chad's range because she can't do anything anymore. She doesn't have a lockpick, and she's not gonna attack any of my units because she's friendly, I guess. I move Roy over to try and recruit her, um, and I was trying to see if I could steal the silver lance, but I couldn't. I was really glad I got to her before she could take the gold. Um, Lot gets to finish off the knight down there because he's stronger than Sexy Boy, and at least in terms of um, what he can do to knights. Um, now, uh, Kane and Abel are going to try to finish off the last of these knights, which is going to be fairly tedious. Um, so Lou's going to move up and try to help him out a little bit there. Um, I'm hoping that they don't move, and also fervently trying to keep Lou out of their range just in case uh, they move. But fear not, Lou will get the kill. They don't move. I'm lucky. Um, sexy boy and Lot managed to finish off those guys in the bottom right down there, and I get to talk to the thief. I thought I could recruit her. I was unfortunately wrong. So I guess she's going to show up on a later chapter and just give me another free lockpick, which, you know, that's cool. But by the time I finally do get to recruit her, um, it's going to probably turn out that she is totally inferior to Chad. And since thieves can't promote in this game anyways, they're going to be pretty poor combat units, so I don't even know why I'm worried. Lou finally kills that knight, and he gets mag, which is nice. It's not nice that that's the last mag he's going to get for a while, <laughs> but whatever. Um, and I'm going to try to wear down the boss. I don't know what it was, but this boss, um, for, for a generic shaman, he seemed to have a lot of avoid. Um, so, Wagner, yes, I do pronounce it the, the way that the composer pronounces it. It's not Wagner, stupid Americans, um, is taking a licking, but he does not get hit. This will continue, and it is a pain in the ass to kill him. It was immensely frustrating. So, Chad's going to unlock all the rest of the treasure. Um, the boss is going to get finished up in a couple turns. I'm going to let Kath go, because I can't really do anything else to recruit her, and I don't want to try to talk to her again, because she's just going to be even more bitchy and try to steal my treasure or something. I'm really glad I took her lockpick. Hopefully she comes back again later and can get more free lockpicks. That would be cool. Oh, snap. <laughs> yeah, that was not good. Um, so I'm a little worried about how they're doing up there. I have to finish them off this turn or else um, Ford... Uh, where is it? Kent. Where is it? Cotton. God damn it. Anyways, one of them's going to have to run for their lives. I heal him up with the help of the man horse, but now I have to rescue the man horse and get him out of there, or I could kill him this turn alternately. As it turns out, I'm going to get uh, immensely lucky and finish him off on the enemy phase, though I have to rescue Saul anyways, just in case um, Wagner probably would have attacked him, because all, everyone hits on Saul. So even though his plan was flawless, he dies, I get a level up, which is decent. 20 minutes of support spamming later. Woo! Roy seizes the throne, has a conversation with a Native American stereotype, and officially ends the chapter. We're done with chapter 6. I only lost once. And in chapter 7, I will lose once again. And hopefully, just here's hoping, I haven't played chapter 8 yet, but hopefully the streak will not continue. Um, because chapter 8 looks pretty easy, as opposed to chapter 7, which is a total pain in the ass. With random reinforcements, like a cavalier with a silver lance. Hopefully it'll be interesting to see how I get out of that one. Tune in next time, which will probably be about a week from now. Thank you very much to Evernoob for hosting. Thank you very much to everyone who gave me feedback for giving feedback. This is 13.2 signing off.